Got him. That's how you got get him. a frog, son. That's how you get a frog. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. You got to get wet. What happened? He slipped me. I didn't want to crush him. <laughs> What did you expect him to do? I don't, I don't know. I was stressed out. I had him. I had him. Yeah, you had him. Go, 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 go. What's up, everybody? I'm John Turner. I'm Afton. Welcome back to the channel. This is Woods to Table. We're so glad you guys are with us tonight. We're out here getting ready to do one of our favorite favorite new things to do see if we can catch some bullfrogs and we're gonna try something a little bit different tonight we've been out here trying to grab them with our hands before my good buddy Robbie raising Cajun from Louisiana is showing me the ropes a little bit that's how you catch a frog son yeah. you grab him you gotta get him there he is baby you gotta get him son we're gonna try jigging for him tonight we've seen some good videos about how to do this seems like a heck of a lot of fun we can do this, we right? Got this. It's Afton's, Afton's first time. We're gonna see if we can get her her first bullfrog tonight. We know she loves to eat them. Now we're gonna see if she can catch them. Y'all stick with us. Let's go. Boom. We gone. We did. We spotted one, got our first one tonight. Back in that hole, right in there. You ready, Afton? Get my frog face on. Let's go. To get them by hand, you've got to be able to get into them quick, get straight into them quick. And all of these frogs that we've seen so far, that would have been, that's number six. They're doing what they should be doing by nature, and that's getting in the most protected spot possible down here near the water where they can still feed. And um, that makes it next to impossible for us to run the boat in there. This tall stuff makes it impossible for us to get the jig over top of them without them, you know, getting spooked. All the limbs make it impossible for us to get the net in there. It's just. This is a hard environment. There's tons of frogs here. Tons, tons of frogs here. Right, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get dirty. We'll have to get dirty here, so to speak. Yeah. That's how you catch a frog right there. That's how you catch a frog right there. What do you think? Oh no! Oh, he's under you, he's under you. He's under you, he's under you. You gotta catch these frogs twice sometimes. What happened? He slipped me. I didn't want to crush him. <laughs> what did you expect him to do? I don't, I don't know. I was stressed out. I had him. I had him. Yeah, you had him. What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, come on. Man, these things are crazy. Like, literally, they're crazy. 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 We will almost catch one and then give the spot five or 10 minutes to rest. Ooh, hmm. all kind of spider webs out here. Yeah, watch it. Five or 10 minutes to rest and same frog, different frog, right back in the same spot. So we're bouncing back and forth between two or three different spots where we've seen some nice frogs tonight. And every time we go back to each spot, new frogs in it. So we're just gonna keep hitting those spots and 
until they don't pan out anymore. Awesome. I had a blast. You have fun? Oh, it was so much fun. One of my first times, Afton's first time frogging, and it's tough out here. I mean, we've got all kinds of just cover along the bank, tall weeds and ground cover. Great They're for right fishing. There. They're, They're right, right there. there. You can hear them. Sometimes you They're can see them, you. and you can't get to them. It's just, it, it's really frustrating at times. But we caught a bunch. We had a blast. Yeah, we did. It was fun. Now we're going to get home and get these things cooked up. Man, I'm excited. Frog legs, absolutely delicious. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so I cannot wait to get these frog legs cooked up. We had an amazing day out on the lake today and I'm starving, the whole family is starving, but it's really, really good for us that this is, I mean, it couldn't be easier to cook frog legs, especially when you're gonna fry them. It comes together really, really quickly, uh, minimum number of ingredients, and it's absolutely delicious. I've missed out my entire life not eating frog legs, and if you haven't tried them, you're missing out too, I'm telling you. It's like a, it's a much more tender chicken leg, um, smaller, obviously, but a lot more delicious and we're using a recipe um, from Michael at the Wild Feast on Instagram if you haven't seen his page check it out I mean the man is an absolute artist and he's a genius when it comes to just bringing gourmet cooking to wild game uh, check out his page a lot of really good recipes you will not be steered wrong and this is one of his recipes tonight for frog legs so we're gonna see how well we can do it his looks amazing we'll see what our rendition looks like so um, we've got all the frog legs already cleaned up. Um, we've got one cup of this bread flour. Make sure you use bread flour. Um, one cup of club soda. And then um, we're going to mix just a little bit. I think the recipe calls for a half teaspoon of this Creole seasoning. Mix that together in a bowl. Um, combine that together, one egg. And as soon as that combines, we'll be ready to dip our frog legs in it. So we're just going to lightly dust the frog legs um, with this bread flour. Michael tells us this is going to help uh, all of our breading, hold on to the frog legs before we put, this, put them into the batter and put them into the pan. So we'll do it the way he says, he's the expert. So with this club soda, um, what it does is it makes this batter a lot lighter um, than it would be otherwise. So we're just going to add um, the half teaspoon, and I'm not actually going to measure this. I'm going to go a little bit heavier, I think, <laughs> with the Creole seasoning um, because we absolutely love it. We want it a little bit spicy. We mix all that together. We're gonna leave these be for six to 10 minutes until golden brown. All right, so I, I hope you can hear me over the sound of this amazing dinner popping in the background, but it's smelling awesome in here. Um, bonus with this recipe, um, we got an extra recipe for a remoulade sauce that's gonna go with this. And it starts with um, a half cup of mayonnaise, ba mayonnaise base. Um, we're gonna add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add a clove of garlic. We chop finely. Half teaspoon of paprika, which I don't really measure. There we go. And we're gonna add just a dash of Tabasco and a little bit of lemon juice. Mix all this together. Use that for our 
Yep. So once these things are done, now I'm gonna leave this pan on because I've got some more frog legs to cook. We're gonna take them and put them on a wire rack just so the batter um, on the outside of the, or the fried, if you're from the south, obviously, stays crispy and let those cool just for a minute. How good do those look? I mean, that's like restaurant quality breading. We've got our last couple coming off here. You gotta watch a little bit. If you do multiple batches of these things, your oil will get a little darker the more stuff you fry, and so your food's gonna get a little darker at the same time, so um, it's not gonna taste really any different. Boy, it's looking good though. I'm gonna throw a little greenery on top here. What do you think? Ooh. A little bit of parsley. Mm, it's good. Just make it, make it look a little better. Buddy, did you have fun at the lake? It smells like a, yeah. It, it smells like, like a the lake, dude. <laughs> My eyes hurt. All right, you wanna try one of these? Uh, be sure. careful, they might be hot. Just pick one out. Pick it out and try it in a sauce. Ready? Right. Try a little bit of the sauce. That's a lot of sauce. <laughs> Look at that. It just falls off the bone. Now that's both the recipe, the cooking method, and the meat itself. I mean, how good is that? It's it just totally falling apart. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's outstanding. Kids like it, grown-ups like it. I feel like I've wasted years of my life not knowing what this tasted like. This is phenomenal. I'm gonna dig in before he eats the rest of them. Make sure I have to get some too. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for being with us, God bless.